Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome to Death and Taxes. This is a 2D narrative based game in which we're gonna be assuming the role of a Green Reaper on an office job. And our job is gonna be to decide which people are gonna live and which people are gonna die. And of course, the consequences are gonna be ours to bear. Uh, and while doing all of that, there's also the mystery of our incarnation that we need to reveal. Uh, this game is being developed by Placeholder Gameworks and also published by them and it's coming to Steam on February the 20th, so next week, I believe that is. Yeah, I believe that's next week. So, Death and Taxes, you know, that's what awaits us in our life. Let's begin our new job as a Grim Reaper. I played it for like five minutes just to see what's going on. So, let's begin. This is just an intro, you know, there's the... Mr. Fate coming, the Keeper of World Order. There is also, uh, this game is uh, very, very uh, integrated with uh, Twitch. So if you see somebody playing on Twitch, oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, there is actually a bug that uh, viewers can write in or something like that in the comments. And it's gonna, well... It kind of influence the people inside of the game something like that events in the game can be influenced I don't know exactly how it works, but hey this mr. Fate went to buy some lemons because he needed to cook us The Grim Reaper and this is where we get to customize ourselves with some beautiful choices. I like this How about oh boy? There's definitely options over here That's way too and you know what I kind of yeah, you know what? Let's be kind of a hip uh, Green Reaper. Sure. Onwards to glory. <laughs> Let's go. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. Yes, indeed. What a momentous day. I'm honored to welcome you into our world, Spawn. Uh, hang on. Spawn number 20. All right. I'm Fate. I'm the keeper of the world order. Uh, where I am? What is this? Straight to the point. Great. You are in my office, here to work as a Green Reaper. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision Number 4, the Sun County Wine Region. Nice. Good thing he's got a cat. I know what you're thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, as it's, it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world, yes? Uh, gallows humor, you see, right? Yes? Mm, clear? I have to kill people? You misunderstand, the people are already in life-threatening situations. You choose the ones you save, and the ones who you do not. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. I was born to do this. Yes, you were, literally. I will now show you your workplace. One more thing, this will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. One week to show us what you're made of, Reaper number 20. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fate, I appreciate that. So, this is our workplace for Grim. <laughs> Welcome, Grim. Here are the files and humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I'm granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests of today. One human has to die, okay. Send me the files by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on the first day. Fate. Thank you. This is our pen for marking stuff. And this is our phone. Science today. Team of ragtag old drillers sent to outer space to counter imminent asteroid impact threat. Are we seeing the start of an apocalypse or just the climate change? Cosmopolis hosting the basketball season final match. Tune in or cheer from the arena for the home crowd. Sweet. And this is the two dudes that we have today, or do that. So we have Ossif von Baraday, age 24, basketball player. Now well, there's a basketball game, isn't it? Yeah. There you go, final match. Ossif, who started off as a student of sociology, is currently on the path of becoming the highest scoring power forward in local college basketball history. When not training or studying, they often help out in the community. Okay. And Bruno Billis, 43, drill master. Bruno is a famously gruff drilling expert who has been working on deep sea oil rigs for countless years. They have a tense relationship with their daughter and <laughs> yeah, have lately been attempting to reconnect and make things work. Is that is that Armageddon? Is that Armageddon? That's Armageddon, isn't it? Although he has hair. <laughs> That's nice. 
So there's a team of Ragtag Odrilla sent out to outer space to counter imminent asteroid impact threat. Well, he is left behind, isn't he? And he's, he's gonna be a star basketball player, though with that chin right there, dude, come on. So this is our pen and we get to decide who lives or dies, or, you know, we do stuff like that. Hey, get back here. Where'd you go? I have important things to draw over here. Alright, you know what? Awesome. You have your whole life ahead of you. You get to live. And Bruno, I'm sorry. You have a very dangerous job. You gotta die. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Yes. Confirm our choices. They've been faxed. Alright. The Grim Office. Oh, look at that. And that's... Who are you, sir? Oh, we get to go up and down. Oh. I guess that was my office. Okay. Controlling this with mouse is weird. Controls with uh, something like that is easy. Okay, can we just go up and down? I think we can just... <laughs> Look at this. Oh, boy. Oh, Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. What ho, customer! Oh! Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. Well, hello there. As you may guess, I am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. I don't think the I did. famous. Nay! Infamous. Quartermaster! I'm sorry I've not heard of you, son. Uh... What makes you infamous? Why, I was the very pirate king of lore. Feared across the world. Aye, nice! Even as I have grown most humble with age, I still carry within me glory days. Aye, nice! Can I buy stuff here? Aye. You're visiting me ultimate dream. The Emporium! Browse at your will. I. <laughs> I don't know. Can we do something here? Uh. Oh, we have zero money. So, no. Uh, sorry. Gotta, gotta go, buddy. Gotta go. Fine. So, this is nothing. This is... The, wasn't this the office? Maybe not. This was the office. The Grim office. Okay. This is where we were before. Personal quarters. And uh, Fate's office. Let's go visit Fate. Let's see what he's gonna say for today. Oh, the new dead spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? Um, okay, I guess. Good, good. Understand it may take time to get acclimated. Everyone goes through that phase. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perish today as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? Uh, well, yeah, there are only two options. Indeed, I'm glad you're paying attention. In the future, I may require you to make more difficult choices, such as the unfortunate, undisputable, incontrover incontrovertible ironclad law of cosmos. Questions? Uh, I'm ready for anything, buddy. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines and keep up the good work. New day awaits. Off you go now. Well, thank you. I shall go off then, Mr. Fate. Uh, do I go to my personal quarters? I think so. End of day, yes. Let's do that. Alright. Good morning, the Grim office. Let's go. Alright. Morning, Grim. Hope you found your accommodation adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them. No okay. cut. Uh, one human with an engineering and industrial background has to die. Engineering or industrial? Okay. Easy mode. Uh, team of astronauts sent to detonate asteroid threat valiantly give lives to complete mission. Oh. Astrophysicist Union pays tribute to fallen working class heroes. Promises, promising basketball seriously injures knee in a court, on court collision in that the merits of nuclear power. So the thing is, the basketball player was also in a life threatening situation, but now he only seriously injured his knee. So we got Achak, Nord, a lumberjack, safety inspector, Victor Yashin, and Michael Land, the composer. Well, I mean, I think safety inspector might have to die. Michael was a musical prodigy since age four, being able to pick up any instrument with little to no effort. Re uh, recently, they have been working at fine arts studios, composing some of the most haunting musical pieces of a number of soundtracks. Mostly from computer games. Michael Land, you seem useful. Okay. Victor Yashin. Victor graduated at the top of their class and made a fast climb of the career ladder, become the chief safety inspector of a local nuclear power plant. They have already spotted several mistakes, possibly preventing many accidents. If this guy dies, 
What's gonna happen to that nuclear power plant? Oh, Jesus. And then the Ajak Nord 30, Lumberjack. Ajak Cohen's a logging company where they work as a lumberjack. Although they comply with environmental regulations on paper, they occasionally clear protected habitats by mistake, destroying homes of thousands of dangerous birds. Okay, you're a dick. Can I kill you? Um, engineering or industrial background. Is this industrial background? Is being a lumberjack an industry? I don't think so. But can I kill two humans? Because I kind of want to kill him as well. I mean, he probably has to die. And I want to see what happens to a nuclear power plant. I also want to see what happens if I kill two people. Instead of what I think it's telling me, just one. And hey, you go compose music for games. Nothing wrong with that. Yes. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's see what's gonna happen tomorrow. Alright. Uh, let's let's see what uh, Grim says or Mr. Fate. Hello, how was the second day on the job? You know what? It actually was good. I see many deaths in your region today. Too many. Um, yeah, no, yeah, in fact, the opposite of yeah. Pay attention. The test said one human. Well, kinda. I didn't really specify. Unfortunately, such errors mean I must dock your pay for the day. You must. You may leave, Grim. I don't get paid? I get paid for this? Obviously, you're a professional after all. The contract stipulates that every dad gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Errors in secondary tests will reduce the total even if the primary test is ex executed correctly. Oh yeah, you will be getting back pay for the missing day. Okay, sounds great. I appreciate the enthusiasm generally, but do follow the rules. Good night. The cat purrs softly. Oh, nice. We got a kitty purring. Hey, I am not mad that that lumberjack had to die. He was cutting a dangerous birds. I don't like that. Hello. Ooh. Shiny. We got shinies. Okay. Meltdown local power plant kills hundreds and pollutes entire valley. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nuclear power, the risk worth it. We say yes. Okay. Logging company owner dies with sudden heart failure, leaves entire fortune to leading cancer found. Hey, you see, that was actually good. Can you have a heart attack due to massive guilt? We have the research. See? He had to die. Let's see. Uh, no special request today. Two humans have to die. All right. We got five, I think. Henry Birch, 43. Literary critic. Oh, Jesus. When the adolescent Henry poked a fellow student with a pen, they realized from that moment onwards that the best friends will only be found on the pages of books, as these friends cannot be directly poked with pens. Henry, I don't know how I feel about you as a human being. Leo Boyarsky, 67, politician. Oh, Jesus, we have politicians. Leo has been in politics for over 30 years, and uh, in that time they work hard on relaxing the governments, meddling in the real estate market. Although nobody has found proper proof, there have been rumors that Leo has taken many bribes from the number of realtor agencies. I mean, that's just standard politician. Nothing too terrible there, you know? It's expected from them. Magnus Whitaker, 30. Brewer. Magnus is an experienced brewer who produces artisan beer. Their specialty is microbrew, but they have also experimented with nano and picobrew. They are currently building an experimental brewery capable of producing Famta brew. Definitely gets to live, there's no question about that. We are not wasting a good brewer. Imagine the lack of beer. Annie Raimi. Annie has had a special connection with animals from a very young age, occasionally even preferring their company over humans. Although they have only worked as a vet for a few years, they are already considered a legend and nicknamed the Mouse Whisperer. Definitely gets to live, you're good with animals. Nothing wrong with her. Nothing wrong. Columba Hunter, 47, airplane pilot. Ooh, that's a dangerous job. Columba is a distinguished war veteran, these days well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. They have five children and a wife. As a hobby, Columba is very interested in the history of religious buildings. I don't know about that religious stuff. But, yeah, I think this is, uh, this is clear. If we kill him, you know, he leaves like a family of five behind. Uh, and probably the airplane dies. This guy is a literary critic. Definitely gets to die. And this guy is a politician. You know, politicians, you have like a dime a dozen or whatever that saying is. There's always a politician around, so who cares? Yes. 
go easy mode do we have anything in here no all right uh hello let's see what he says today hello mr fate we have killed human beings great my latest spawn three days you have been with us how do you feel awesome actually excellent that is what i hope for as you may imagine it's important to keep morale up in your, our line of work let me take a look right everything looks to be in order you have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles okay see you tomorrow buddy uh, can I pet your cat? I would love to pet your cat. Let's see if, uh, since we did get those coins, can we go spend them down here? Hello. Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality <laughs> merchandise. <laughs> I love this guy. Okay, so we have 600. And this is Ampu, god of dead, mummification, embalming, the afterlife, cemeteries and tombs, and the protector of the underworld. This hound really gets around. Okay. Uh, ethereal resonator. This resonator collates accelerated electromagnetic waves of various frequencies generated by the artificial vibration of thermal recurrence, which travel through the ether. And inferno illuminator, which we can't afford. Let's get Ampu. Sure. Buy Eye of Ampu. Ever been to the land of dunes, East Uh, not really. There be ancient civilizations under the sand sometimes. All right. Once I dug out this particular golden icon. Nice. All while I was digging, the owls of the world eater rang in my ears. Sure. But I persisted. Dug until me was cracked. No stopping. Till the riches were stolen. Ah, tis <laughs> truly a wondrous thing. Turns your own head into a jackal's it does. Oh, that's nice. Hey, dude, love it. Can I, can I use it? Uh, can I be a jackal now? I'd love to be a jackal. Oh, actually, more tumors. Can I... Check my dressing room. There's more tumors. Hey. I can't, I guess. End of day, sure. Maybe I can do it now? No? Alright, well. To the office we go. There's our monies, I guess. That's all the monies we got. Alright, so let's see. Critics dies from blood poisoning after accidentally stabbing themselves with a pan. Jesus. All survived in a plane crash. Let's go. Told you. Beer Visionary starts selling experimental beer in five microliter tubes. I don't know what to tell you. Local politician dies after getting hit with a car. Police have not yet ruled a deliberate hit. Well, I would believe that. Hero alert! Air Veterinary saves the day after passing away on a horde of hangry mice. I think we made good decisions yesterday. Okay, have you looked outside today? It rains. It's been raining for hours. Okay. Uh, three humans have to die. That's all. Alright, well, we have five again. Let's take a look. Mahala I, 34, sous chef. Mahala is a rising star in a culinary world. Vicariously executing the head chef's will, head chef's will with an iron fist and brass mouth. Their workers have daydreaming of their tragic demise. I see, so you're a dick. Okay. Lua, 36, forklift operator. Ooh, that's a dangerous job. Luigi is a revolutionary. A radical and avant-garde hero of the people. The ultimate underdog vanguard of change beloved by all. They love cruising around in their forklift at high speeds, which considering the forklift is not very fast. It's a dangerous job, Luigi. I must admit. Adina Sanchi, 31, news anchor. Adina is an ambitious news anchor who is trying to get more into investigative journalism. After a recent nuclear meltdown, Adina decided to visit the site of accident determined to find answers. Oh, you are gonna die, probably. Would be a shame, but you know. Shoi Yuri, 29, PhD student. Shoi doesn't like being called a student, they're a doctoral candidate, a tormented scholar, a discoverer of drugs, and a cure of diseases. Except when a student discount is available somewhere. I don't know how I feel about you, buddy. Konstantin Valko, 23, student. Konstantin is a student of the local Polytechnical Institute, but their real passion is hiking. They're preparing for a challenging skiing trip to the nearby mountains with a group of friends. On the completion of this trip, they would all be awarded the highest hiker certification. So you have a dangerous life as well. I'd like to save important people. You know, you have a dangerous job, but forklift operator? Very important uh, thing. You get to live, buddy. Uh, Mahala I, sous chef? Ugh. You're bound to poison somebody, so no. Alright, we get to kill two of these two, of these three. News anchor, she's doing an important job, but also this guy. Um, a discovered drugs and cure of diseases. I think, you know, you have a chance to become that, 
But I think Adina Sanchi, you know, I studied journalism myself and I know that she's gonna be doing some dangerous jobs over there, but if she's brave enough to do this, to find the truth, what happened there and, you know, save the society, I think she deserves to live. And I'm sorry, students get to die today. I mean, I'm sorry. Just the way it is. Yes. Goodbye. Some of you had to die. Alright. Grim, my man. Or fate. I don't know why I'm constantly calling him Grim. I'm the Grim, man. Let's see what he says today. There you are. Let us be quick. All the prizes are here. Excellent work. I'm beginning to sense a, a tinge of pride growing within me. Did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. If you give this up, you will get far. You may even be promoted to a middle management position. Wow. Dope. Academics are delighted me out at the prospect. Anyway, I'm quite busy tonight. See you soon. Sure. Let's finish this week. I wanna I wanna see what happens after that. I wanna can I go into my dressing room? I don't know, I can't. I'd like to go to my dressing room. The Mortimer sent me something. Yeah well, let's see what we got today. It's about a mundane day, nothing out of the ordinary. Quarter of the day, two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a food service background. Okay, easy. We see nuclear meltdown caused by various safety violations. Report Sanchi. Okay. Parliament to discuss stricter safety. That's good. Now local hikers found dead in the mountains. I'm sorry. Did the government cover up alien involvement in death of the hikers? We think so. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's see if you're gonna start seeing some familiar faces and all that. Chipo Evo Solarin, 38, sports nutritionist. For years, Chipo has been interested in what effect different diets have on people. Lately, they have been working on with the best of the best national athletes, helping to improve their competitive performance. I'm guessing this guy has to live, because, you know, food stuff. Emil Banil, 46, priest. Priest, oh Jesus, priests. Emil went to college at 19 to study religion for the lulz. <laughs> when weighing career options after graduation, they decided to become a priest again for the lulz. Some argue their detachment gives them the ability to give good unbiased advice to troubled souls. I don't believe you. You will probably die. Oral Vanport, 23, server. Or is barely hanging on with already high living expenses keep rising. They are sure they can do great things with their art degree uh, when they get around to finishing it. In their scarce free time, they do organic origami. You're a server, huh? You work in food service. I'm sorry, you're probably, to be honest, she probably wishes to be dead right now. But hey. Alaya Saracen, 27, cook. Well, we have to spare you as well. Alaya chose to learn the art of gastronomy because it felt like a decent and stable job. Good food is always needed. Aside from cooking, they enjoy long treks through nature and mountain climbing. So dangerous. Baker. Vladimir Bogdan, 45, Baker. Vladimir dreams of organizing, organizing a pretzel invasion, crunching opposition across all pastries. They actively promote pretzel supremacy. Pretzels shall one day rule the land of whatever climate scientist Lilian Kour Lilian hails from a small village on the coast where they spend their early years studying ichthyology this later inspired them to turn their attention toward global matters to the multi multitudinous interrelated interrelated networks that make up our planet you know what so you're telling me I have to kill these four people because they work in food industry right and I have to, I mean, I have to save them, and then I have to kill this climb scientist. No. You know what? I will not always play by the rules. She gets to live. She wishes to die. I can tell you. She wishes to die. This guy's a priest. He gets to die anyway. There's no question about that. And uh, you guys all get to live. I'm sorry. Just the way it is. Yes, I probably made a mistake there, but I stand behind it. We're not killing a climate scientist, whatever their name is. Can I go dress myself, please? Oh, okay. Hello. He's probably not gonna be satisfied. What a day. Yes. The correct amount of profiles didn't seem to be in order. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. Okay, so he is happy. Okay, so server was nothing. Okay, this is fine. Um, you know what? Um, no, I don't hate this job. You know what? A job like any other. Is it though? 
I can almost imagine what a normal, basic, dreadful, everyday job would feel like. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Uh, I'm not sure, but sure. Now the question is too difficult. After all, you have not even lived a week. You have not seen what the tradition has wrought. This control over all lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? Uh, you know what? Can't worry too much. I'm that kind of person, you know, if I work for somebody like, you know what, I don't want to think, just tell me what to do, I don't care. Just pay me at the end, let me go after my 8 hour shift or something like that. Yeah, I'm the worst of the people, I'm sorry. That's just me. The office is perennial and venerated. Aliens we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies, we know what we are doing, sure. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Any other age profiles? Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. Do not find any yourself. Ah, thank God. Okay, you know what? Good to know. Uh, the animals get department? Absolutely. All living beings have to be pr processed after the end. No escape. Even plants. Yes, there is the department for plants. Do not ask about the plant department. <laughs> yep, okay. Let's go. It's been a lightning. Good night. Okay, you know what? I feel good that we saved that... Um, Whatever their job was. Th that person. Hey, hey, get back here. Hey, what what are you doing? I want to go to my dressing room. No. Okay, fine. End of day. We've been five days. Let's let's get the week through, shall we? Oh, look at all the monies. Okay. On the press of dark times, I may have warned you that this job can have some harsh moments. Today's the day. A total of six humans have to die. We have eight. At least two older humans have to die. Any human with economy related profession have to die. This is very serious, all right. Why are there damn pretzels everywhere? <laughs> Young cook discovers new healthy way of preparing food, okay. Expecting nutrition and caught distributing illegal performance enhancers. Ooh, there may be home for us yet. Scientists on the verge of breakthrough. Another family in poverty after joining a multi-level marketing scheme. Sorry for all of you. So, um, two older humans have to die. Six of them have to die. Economy people have to die. Shopkeepers, that economy. Sanyu Fura, 55, shopkeeper. First day with a bland condiment selection of the local grocery store, Sanyu opened a shop to sell specialty, specialty cook ingredients. Now people can cook dishes originating from all around the globe. Nah, she's doing an okay job, but she is... Well, she's not the youngest, although 55 is not like the oldest out there. Gan Shai, 45, hunter. Gan has made a living by hunting wild game for decades. Recently, they have been become fascinated with conspiracy videos on MeTube, convinced there is a monster living in a nearby swamp. Oh, Jesus. You're one of those, aren't you? Uh, Leinani Laita, 40, marine biologist. Leinani, professor at a local university, has dedicated her life to studying the well-being of aquarium fish. Since it's already known that goldfish have decent memory, they advocate banning small fish bows. You're doing a good job. Good for you. You know, you could do a lot more with that degree, but fine. Kaspar Sursalo, 26, teacher. This prominently right-handed teacher enjoys playing a lot of tabletop role-playing games in the vein of Beasts and Swords and Cavernous Arrows of Dead. They are deathly afraid of bugs, critters, and other such crawling beasts. Wow, you're a pussy, aren't you? But at least you're a teacher. Ras Rushed, 53, banker. Ras, a widely celebrated economist, is called a preeminent expert in market manipulation. For the past decade, they've, they've appeared in many television programs, advising people when and where to invest their funds. Definitely get to die. There's no question about that. No question. Can I put you in there? I could hide him in there, apparently. Yep, no guy definitely gets to die. Recruiter. Europa Steel, 37. Europa is a top gun at many, many multi-level marketing companies that sell everything from super juices and vitamins to toilet scrubs. Despite starting their every recruitment with pitch with, it's not a pyramid scheme, but they keep bringing it in, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, you definitely get to die. There's no in question about that. I hate people like that. You see, this is getting kind of personal now. Come on. Jean-Baptiste Courtine, 70, retired. Oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go, buddy. Jean-Baptiste is a retired carpenter, a veteran of the long military, long ago military conflict in the Marisola Peninsula. For years they have had to deal with bouts of PTSD, which they have managed to alleviate in their twilight years by painting and composing melancholic folk songs. They run a successful mess and firm on the side. Oh, I feel sorry for you, buddy. 70, PTSD. But, you know, they told me you have to go. So, you also have to go because two older people have to die, apparently. 
Kyo Akihito, 62 farmer. Kyo has lived in four different countries, finally sat down in the Sun Country Vine region, but they now work as a, a viticulturist. Okay, I don't know what that is. They enjoy fast food, cooking, and horse riding, and have seven grandchildren who visit often. I'm sorry, Kyo. You get to perish. Okay, that's four. Now we have to choose two, right? Two more? Yeah. Out of these ones. So we have a marine biologist and a teacher who could do a lot more with their degrees, yet... Uh, and then we have a shopkeeper and a hunter. This guy... Uh, give me this. The hunter's gonna have to go. Sorry. So shopkeeper, a teacher who is afraid of bugs, critters, and other such crawling beasts. What a pussy. Uh, and he plays D&D &D or something like that. Like, we gotta save the marine biologist. Yeah. And out of these two, you know, I would prefer to have a teacher around, because... Yeah, they could be good influence, but this guy is just play, uh, spending time playing games and being afraid of animals. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're gonna do this. I don't have respect for you, you know, being afraid of stuff. How dare you be afraid of things? Okay, let's see what he says today. Hello, we have arrived. Sup? It wasn't that tough, day. Eh? Yeah, rough day? No, it's fine. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel about after such a day? Uh, you know what? You know what? I, I'm fine, yeah. Good, good. We have to do what is necessary, even if we do not fully, fully understand why. Now let's hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Don't know what happened. You're in charge after all. Yes, I am. And yes, I do. Yet what I use is a reaper. Yet what I use is a reaper who cannot discern the situation from the details in front of them. Uh, um, you know what? Don't really care. That is that. Indeed, all things must die eventually. All things must die. Hmm. Off you go. Thank you. I think one more day before our uh, weekly evaluation. Evaluation. Go here. End the day. Yes. I want to do this. Show me. The rules. We can clear up the mess from yesterday. Okay. Uh, two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful, who seem helpful against the troubles. Sure. Uh, local man commits suicide after losing family savings in market crash. Expected financial found dead after devastating market crash. Wow. Crude bankers. Right. MLM, MLM recruiter demonstrates company's flagships to produce poison self. <laughs> oh Jesus. Results are in. Fish can have little salami. A little a salami. Fish can have little a salami. Okay. A freak emu related emu related accident claims the life of a young teacher. Body found in a swamp suspected to be a local hunter. Oh no. The swamp monster claimed another victim. <laughs> Will superstar racer Miguel Salk bring home another trophy for the cosmopolis city? A breakthrough imminent. Promises founder of Trans Global Inc. Sure. Okay, so um seem helpful we're gonna keep them okay andreas katazukas 43 veteran andreas is a traumatized veteran of the marisol peninsula conflict now living on the streets they're very good with animals and are staunch vegetarian even while being in the rough sometimes one has just does one has just seen too much suffering that you know what you deserve to live even though you probably hate hate to live miguel salk 32 theoretical beekeeper race car driver you know that first thing might save you, we'll see. Miguel had, uh, has always dreamt of becoming a beekeeper, but for some reason, perhaps because of fear of sharp objects, has never pursued their true passion. This in turn has led them to become a very successful race car driver, an occupation they unfortunately hate, but I just live quietly with their bees. Dude, I, I feel sorry for you, man. Albert David Gok, 54, corrupt CEO, wow. Albert is an incredible human being, as in, never in all history has there been anyone who has destroyed so many humane and social systems with such nihilism and greed. They will stop at nothing in their quest to squeeze out any short-term profit. You know what, this would be very interesting to play if you were trying to keep alive the corrupt people and such. I think that's that warrants like another uh, playthrough. Maybe we can hide like him in, the, in there or something, keep him for a rainy day. Nora Sophia Ato, 39, white collar criminal. Wow, interesting positions you have there. Is that like uh, like an official resume or? I don't know. 
nor turned to regular embezzlement after their multi-level marketing scheme failed. The beauty products and cognitive enhancer were just not selling. All this to pay off their mortgage and to keep their child in a decent school. Nora Films claymation shorts in their spare time. Interesting. Uh, how many people? Two humans have to die? Yeah. Okay, so we already have one. Let's see what else we have. Mint, 20, gang member. Oh boy. Mint comes from an abusive family, which ultimately made them very protective of their older sister. Mint would be any do anything to keep her safe. As such, they have allied with the toughest crime boss in the district, one who has takes good care of their own. Wow, I feel sorry, man. David Garber, 34, IT architect, AI researcher. David is the founder of Transglobal Inc., a company that produces high-tech gadgets like smartwatches and digital home ass assistants. For the past five years, David has been the foremost proponent of algorithms and artificial intelligence research. Alright, well, we're gonna have to keep you alive, because uh, the news told us that that's gonna be good stuff. And now, out of these four, we have to kill one. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I didn't want to put it, you there. I think, Mint, we're gonna have to keep you. Like, I know you're a gang member, but you're just trying to protect your uh, sister. Now, over here, she is... A bad person but she's doing this to keep their child in a decent school and pay off their mortgage but what did you do to get in that position that you have to pay a mortgage and you know keep the kid in decent school I think you you made some early mistakes that you just made even worse by becoming a white color criminal yeah I don't think um, I don't think uh, we're gonna keep you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your kid, like I truly am. But, uh, you know, you gotta pay for what you have done in your life. Oh, achievement unlocked. This is fine. Oh boy. What have we done? <laughs> I guess because we survived a week or something. Hello. Sup. Sup, boy. Welcome, Green 20 is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think we have been doing? Um, you know what? I managed to follow the rules, kind of. Interesting. Mm, yes, your answer being recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look at over your daily. See the required professor are all here. Excellent, this bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it's time to get started. Okay, let's do it. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here, we go, right, okay. Okay, your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am sincerely surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. So much so that the office deem you fit for a race. Let's go. Uh, thank you. Oh, do not thank me. Green, we're just getting started. Make it rain. Achievement unlocked. Let's go. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. It displays it, it proudly on your workstation. For perfect. Okay, you're clapping. That's fine. Do not let cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn, many rules to follow. Okay, piece of cake. Careful, Grim. That is exactly the kind of hubris that will lead to downfall. As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. Concluded. You have passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. So I'm guessing we've been doing a good job. And see if we can spend some more money down here in Mortimer. Need ye cures for ailments or a trigger to ward off a curse? I, not really. I mean, I'm dead. The play doctor. Sputtering a stylish beak, this mass hails from an era of epidemics where physicians with little to do to no medical expertise try their best to alleviate the suffering of the inflicted, an ill omen. A looking glass gazing ultimately deep into the abyssal, abyssal depths of the underworld. It reflects everything. Cool. And the Lithian Obliviator is used to remove grievous mistakes, meaning it erases whichever mark you made on the profile. One use only. Ah, uh, that would be smart to have. Avast. This tale is beyond reproach. Yeah, yeah. We were sailing the high oh, seas Jesus. when we found a shipwreck full of these off the coast of the wild wakes. It has power to erase even the most dreadful of mistakes. I appreciate Used that. You erased one of my risky love letters. And you know what? No. Nope. Never heard from the love interest again. <laughs> well, then. good Amazing for you, buddy. Thing. Good for you. All right. I don't think we're buying anything else. That's fine. But that sounds like a very useful thing. Okay. You know what? A week has passed. Let's end the day. Take a good sleep. And I think this is where I'm gonna... Uh, can I go to the goddamn thing? No. This is where I'm gonna finish the episode. Um, I'm actually really, really enjoying this. 
uh, it would be fun seeing what can actually happen in the long run in this game, you know? I've been really playing by the rules, but uh, I wonder what you can do if you don't play by the rules and you and decide maybe to just keep all the evil people alive or, you know, you try to keep the uh, people that seem good and nice alive and all that stuff, so... No, oh, I'm sorry, hit my microphone. Oh, look, I opened it. Hey! Thank you. Yeah, that's that's nice. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I am I'm quite happy. For now, though, thank you, buddy, for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Check out Death and Texas on Steam. It's coming to uh, it's coming to Steam on 20th of February. So go wish list wish list it now and grab it when it's coming. But for now, thank you, buddy, for watching. Hope you will uh, go and decide to support the devs if you like this, and I'll see you guys all next time. Go crowd.